Uh, the, the World Cup was fantastic. I don't think I've experienced a program like that before in my life. I don't think I ever will. That that first one to win the inaugural World Cup was was just the best feeling in the world. I got to see my first ever hacker. I stood in front of that, and that was really special. It reminded me a lot of being a kid and, and watching it on the TV and imagining what it would feel like. And and it was every bit as brilliant as I thought it was going to be. Um, there's probably not a lot I can say about where I think it's going, but in the next 10, 15 years, I'm expecting Paralympics um, is, is, is where, because sport was designed to be adapted into the Paralympics at some point. So I'm expecting in the future, I may not be playing, but the lads walking in my footsteps may be playing for a Paralympic medal, which would just be an amazing feeling. Yes, um, yeah, we're, we're into double digits of boys who who are coming, um, who, boy, boys who have said 100% we're coming down next year. So there's even a chance that next year Leeds could be fielding two teams, which will be amazing for for, for, for this club and, and for the city itself. The experience this week, it was. We're on a coach for, for 11 hours, which I'm going to say was not the best experience in the world. But um, actually being at the Stock Exchange and witnessing something so symbolic was, was brilliant. But then to go to the House of Parliament and, and meet and, and meet such, such supportive people for the disabled community, uh, people like MP uh, Lindsay Hoyle, the Speaker of the House of Commons, that was wonderful. I got a picture with Claire Balding. It was great. It was absolutely fantastic. I don't think I've, I've been in a room as hot as that in such a long time. It was boiling in there. But the drinks were free, so it swings and roundabouts. You've all come together to get to as a team as a new driver's team. Yes. To support three drivers, including the new drivers' foundation. Why is it important that there should be fundraising for the foundation? Uh, it's, it's important to fundraise for the foundation for the excellent work that they do. I know firsthand um, what the foundation actually do, and specifically with people with disabilities, for learning disabilities or physical disabilities. The work is endless and it goes, goes much further than you see in pictures. You, you see a score at the end of the week and you think, oh great, you know, they're doing something great, but throughout that week there, there's, there's people here putting on a programme for us. Um, the amount of mental health support that the guys have had within my team has just been completely brilliant. Um, it's, it's given boys a purpose again in life and it's been, the foundation do an awful lot of work, an awful lot of work, an awful lot of work which is not seen. So I'm very proud to represent the foundation in this event. And it's great to working with two other charities that do a lot for this community as well. Yeah, so um, I, I know one of the CEOs of, um, of, of, the, of St George's Crypt and I know the hard work which they go through and how difficult that is and, and, such, and how much of a wonderful project it is that they're doing and, and the work that they're doing is very hard and difficult and stuff like this makes it easier for them. And, and I think that's, that's important, you know, we should always help, help people up.